Kwa miaka kadhaa ambayo imepita shauku za baadhi ya hospitali humo nchini kulagai bima ya NHIF zimeibuka. Kulingana na mwenyekiti wa tume ya maadili na kupambana na ufisadi Eliud Wabukala, bima ya NHIF ni muhimu kwa wananchi nchini Kenya. Kwa kauli hiyo hiyo Wabukala alizisuta hospitali zinazoilagai bima ya NHIF kwa kutumia madai gushi ili kupata hela hizo. I think that's part of the, the the problems we are going to address together and we we normally when we receive those kind of um, uh, reports and that's what chair was trying to allude to we follow them up and to see to establish exactly where a public servant is involved in that fraud. But again it comes to what uh, my brother has asked public awareness. Uh, the the fraud is being is, is, is happening between a hospital and a, a and a, a citizen who are private citizens and therefore our public education awareness is geared towards making uh, the Kenyan know that participating in that is just making uh, health very expensive and, and, and of course doesn't help all of us so those issues uh, when they come we address it but they are significant and I think all of us including our partners who are in the media because we are part of our very senior partners we must bring these things out openly. So NHIF is one of those very significant partners uh, in our quest to deal with corruption from the ethical part. We want to see a changed culture. Uh, we want to see whether people at the board level of management of institutions uh, embrace this culture change. And as you know, when it begins at the top, it rolls down to every person in the organization. Wabukala amesema ulagai huo umeyafanya matibabu kuwagali mno kwa wakenya hukuma milioni ya wakenya wasiona pesa za kugaramia matibabu wakitabika. Health was one of the pillars at independence that Kenyans uh, identified. Of course education, health and poverty. And uh, that makes NHIF the most important institution in this country to address that aspiration of Kenyans. And that's why ESC looks at uh, NHIF as our very important partner. And we have promised to continue working with them, uh, helping them see how to inculcate this culture of uh, ethics, of honesty, <coughs> of trust, you know, among the top leadership, and so that we can help uh, their services get down Kulingana na mwenyekiti wa NHIF Lewis Ngoyai, dosari hiyo imerekebishwa kwa kubuniwa kwa njia ya utambuzi wa vidole almaarufu biometrics kwa wanamemba wote wa NHIF. Ngoyai amesema hospitali yoyote itakayobainika kulagai bima hiyo itapigwa marufuku huku wakuu wakifunguliwa mashtaka. In medical insurance claims that come in fake form. But I want to give two milestones where we have really fought against those fake claims. And uh, in August of last year, it was August huh? of last year, we concluded 100% the biometric registration. So in nowadays, you don't need to even have an NHIF card. When you go to a facility, the first thing they do if you haven't registered as a member of NHIF, yet you contribute as a member of NHIF, is to take your biometrics. And uh, it is taken in all our branches, but it is also taken in the hospital the first time you visit if you've never utilized our service. That has, in essence, curbed that issue of impersonation, of make, bringing somebody who's not a member to get the services of NHIF claims. Wabukala alizungumza eneo la naivasha, pale mafunzo ya maadeli kwa wanabodi wa NHIF yaliendelezwa.